Hi guys, surprise, I'm back. Um, no, I just thought I'd do a really quick video because tomorrow morning for our workshop, we are going to have granola and berries and yogurt and it's really yummy. And I've normally got a big jar of granola, little granola ready to go, but my kids actually eat it as a snack as well because it's delicious. So I was going to make another batch, so I thought I will quickly show you how I make it and then tomorrow morning um, how I put it together really quickly. So this is kind of based on the I Quit Sugar granola that she makes, but I make it chocolatey um, by adding in some cacao, which is delicious, and I have also made it with organic puff rice before. Um, so that Tilly thinks she's having Cocoa Pops. Winner. Anyway, I'll quickly show you. Not, doesn't take long. Okay. Now again, I don't measure. So I just got like some almonds. And I'm going to get, now this is a Gigi noise. So, oops. So I don't chop them fully. Maybe a little bit more, but we'll do that in a sec because I forgot another thing. This could be tricky. Um, coconut oil. So I'm just going to put some coconut oil in a cup, like so. Hey, Mish. Oh, sorry. Could you help Mummy, please, buddy? Can you just hold... I've got a little um, man home, not well. Could you just hold it on that for Mummy? Yeah. Yep, just on the cup. So what I'm going to do is, again, I don't measure it, but I'm just going to get some coconut oil, pop it in the cup, and this is what, when you bake it, it kind of makes it um, crunchy and delicious. So now what are we going to say? Two, two dessert spoons full of coconut oil. And while I zhuzh up, there you go, maybe a bit more, third of a cup, let's say. Thanks, Hamish, you're a champion. Um, I'm just going to melt that in the microwave. And, of course, there's something in there because that's where I hide the orange cake I made the kids, otherwise they eat it all. And I'm just going to that for an hour, um, an hour, a minute. Okay, so I've got almonds, a little bit more. Zhuzhing, perfect. I'm going to tip those into the bowl. I'm just going to break them up a bit so they're not all huge. So we've got almonds, then I'm going to put in, uh, let's see, uh, we'll measure it, we'll something out. Uh, just a spoon of chia seeds, which I'm going to chuck in. Chia seeds are amazing for omega-3. Awesome for your brain. You know what, let's put two in because they're awesome. We love them. Then here I've got um, some sour seeds. I'm going to put a spoon of these in because sometimes the kids whinge about it. But this is so good. It's healthy fats and it's also high in protein. So that's what we want because that's going to keep us full. So get that little mix there. Um, now, you can use rolled oats, but um, Trav at the moment is going uh, gluten-free because he gets a bit of reflux, TMI, anyway. So I'm just using some organic quinoa flakes that I'm going to chuck in there instead. Chucking, chucking, yep. And then, of course, we need some coconut. And I usually like to use uh, coconut flakes, which are kind of like almost like a chip, they're flat, but I like them to not cook, so I don't already want them cooked in oil. Um, and then I mix that up. So, and there's, oh, here it is, and just a couple of um, pumpkin seeds. A little shake of pumpkin seeds in there. Shake, shake, there we go. So we've got almonds, uh, sunflower seeds, chia seeds, pumpkin seeds, coconut, and quinoa flakes. Okay, and now what we're going to do is I'm going to get the coconut oil, oh that cuts up, which has melted, ow, sugar, I nearly swore. And I'm going to tip that in, just like that, see. And then the other thing that I do put in uh, is some organic uh, rice malt syrup. Now, you know what, it's still sugar, it's, you know, sugar, but it's not white processed bleached sugar. So, I'm just... Again, my measuring skills, not really. I'm just going to go, oops, that's probably a bit too much, but the kids will like it extra. And the last thing, hey, Mitch, could I have your help again one more time, please, little man? The last thing I'm going to add is some cacao. So just cacao that I'm going to tip in there, like so. Could you hold that for mummy over the bowl while I mix it, sweetheart? Can you see that? Thank you. And then I'm just going to give it a really good mix. Um, just to get the oil, and you can see that it starts to look a bit wet. Can you, can you 
go up a little bit higher or you to, there we go. Mommy just doesn't want to hit you in the head with my arm. Because that would be bad. Okay, so that's a pretty good mix there. And then I'm going to put it in the oven on 160. Probably for about 10 minutes. You don't want to burn it because it tastes like shit. Oops, I'm just going to do word. Thanks, buddy. You're a champion. Um, you don't want to burn it. So I usually check it after about 10 minutes. And as I said, 150, 160, depends how hot your oven is. I'm going to chuck it on a tray like so. Oh, there we go. It's actually hard to do with one hand. I'm going to spread it out. Now, because of the uh, rice malt syrup and the oil, it's kind of going to go a bit crunchy when it cooks. Bits of it will stick together that are stuck together, so they'll be like almost clusters, and then the other bits will just be beautiful toasted almonds. And that's how I make it. I keep it in a big jar, and tomorrow morning you'll see what we do with it. And um, yeah, that's pretty much it. And I'm telling you, as it cooks, it smells amazing, tastes amazing. And I'll show you tomorrow morning what we do with it. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you guys are being inspired. I'll turn this around. Hope I'm inspiring you guys to make breakfast from scratch and lose the packets. Get lots of pretty jars. Like all my jars. I love jars at the moment. I've been putting everything in jars. Um, and keep jars. Keep empty jars from when you have things. You know, get the labels off and reuse them. Always handy. But I'm hoping I'm inspiring you guys um, just to have, you know, four or five recipes that you can put on repeat that everybody eats um, that are whole foods for brekkie and they're good for your body and they keep you full, they help you learn for the kids, keep them calm, which is always handy. Anyway, I'm going to put that in the oven and I will see you tomorrow morning to show you what we do with our granola. Okay, have a great one guys. Any questions, please let me know down below. And again, don't forget to sign up for the free ebook so that you get um, all these recipes and links to the videos. Have a great one. Bye.